Okay, I'm sure y'all guys are sick of my shorts, so I'll give you something a little bit longer form. This uh, 440 block, uh, everything seemed to be in order with it. Um, and so I have decided to go through and get it ready. I degreased it with a uh, basically oven cleaner. It's a sodium hydroxide solution. And then uh, followed up with some... Uh, uh, solvent degreaser, uh, and then finally some uh, lacquer thinner to get any of the last grease off of it. Uh, primed it, painted it in, uh, this is Rust-Oleum Safety Blue, because it's fairly close to Chrysler Corporate Blue. Uh, I mean, it looks good on camera, so that's all I care about. The And then besides that, uh, once I got that done, I started going through and actually properly cleaning up all the gasket surfaces, scraped the gaskets off of them, wire brushed them. Um, and this is going to get painted one more time once it's together, because uh, I'm trying to give it that stock motor look where the whole thing is painted one color. And um, basically went through, evaluated, the bearings look good. Um, the uh, cam I'm kind of dubious about. Uh, it's about half of the lifters have lost their crown. The lifters are supposed to be, these are flat tappet cams, so it's supposed to have a slight crown to the lifter. Uh, like a, I think someone said it's like a 48 inch radius or something. But uh, a few of them don't have that. And the way you check that is you take your lifter, you put a razor blade across it, put it up to the light. And if you can see light uh, on either side of the razor blade, uh, or on either outside corner of the lifter, then you're probably all right. But if you see light in the center, well, it's dished. Um, now it was running and it was not tapping or anything like that. And none of the, none of the lobes on the cam are wiped out. Um, so that's probably just wear. Um, but, uh, I have to sit and make a decision there. The, um, so anyway, cleaning it up, making sure everything is everything is good. Um, one thing though, since this is going to get uh, this thing's going to get kind of beat on, even though I'm putting it together with stock parts, I want to make sure they live as best I can. And so what I've done is uh, I've gone and done some research on oiling mods to make sure this bottom end is going to live. And um, the oiling mods that are generally recommended. Uh, go something like this. The obvious ones. Um, this is where the pickup tube comes in. And there is, uh, this is where it goes, or, I can't see. This is where it goes into, wait, no, this one. Yes, this one. This is where it goes into the oil pump. And at the bottom of that, there is a sharp corner. I'm going to see if I can't get a die grinder in there to just round that inside corner just a little bit clean it up just a bit, just a smidge, and also uh, probably chamfer this to match the, uh, to match the gasket surface a little bit closer. Um, then, of course, um, making sure I've done it once and I'm going to do it again, I've got some, uh, I've got a bunch of bore brushes, uh, and they're going to run through. The oil galleys run from the oil pump, over here to which is the passenger side of the motor um, and from here it goes uh, partially it goes to the um, it goes to the number one main it also goes to the number one cam bearing uh, and then it goes up the passenger side of the motor in the oil galley and then there's a crossover here at the back um, you can't really see it, uh, cause it's on the bottom side of the motor and I've got stuff kind of on this. Um, but it makes the jump across there. You can see the two plugs, one plug, two plug. It crosses over there and then it runs down the driver's side and stops at, at the end of the lifter galley. Um, and at the same, and if, gosh, I wish you could see it. Um, but these, uh, that that oil tube, that oil galley intersects with the hole, intersects with the holes that were bored for the lifters. And so the lifters kind of seal the oil in. Um, 
Now, that oil galley, of course, it's oiling the lifters first because they don't want the lifters to go tappy, 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 so people don't think they have a rattle trap kind of car. Um, the next thing that I've done, um, off of those oil galleys, you have four, one, two, three, four, uh, oil passages, and they run about this angle, approximately, well, a little bit less, but more like that. Uh, but at an angle to this hole right here, down to the oil galley. And that is normally a quarter of an inch factory, and it's a uh, pretty much common uh, common wisdom that in a race high performance application, you want to open that up to at least a 930 seconds. Uh, typically, people recommend a 930 seconds reamer because those are a little bit less likely to snap off compared to a drill bit. All I had was a drill bit uh, of that length. I had a big old, uh, big old long one. And so I like to live dangerously. So I ran it down there and bored this out to make sure I've got good flow to the mains. Uh, the mains, because the mains also oil the rods through holes in the crank. And the, um, uh, and also the oil coming up here comes up to this point and then it has to make a turn and go back up in the motor to the cam bearings. This one is, and this is basically bored straight down, uh, or straight up depending, um, to the cam bearing. Now, these are quarter inch, just like the ones that came in here. Um, and cam bearings don't, they need oil, but they don't need that much oil. Um, so it's pretty common to recommend to block these off with a restrictor. And um, I took a couple of 5 16 set screws here and drilled them out on the lathe. That's what one of my shorts was about. Um, and on number two, number three, and number five, this is important, um, the, the existing quarter inch holes can be tapped to five sixteenths. Do not use a cheap tap. Get, this is my, re my recommendation to anybody for any reason, get good taps. Your butthole will thank you because I do not want to be extracting a broken tap out of this hole, which by the way is like half an inch down from there is where the hole starts. Um, yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, and I don't want to scrap this block. So use good taps, take it easy, lots of oil. Um, make sure that you're straight, make sure you're plumb, make sure you're true. Um, don't go ham sandwich on it. Take it easy when you thread these. Now, you skip this one uh, because this one actually goes straight to the oil pump, uh, to the oil pump supply. So there's no, I mean, there's no point. And this one here is important to leave open because this one also feeds the oil in the heads. There's actually, uh, and I need to clean the, the gunk out of here. But you can see down there that there are two oil passages at uh, about 30 degrees off from each other, there and there, in this number four. And those actually tap off oil and pump it up to the heads to, to oil the rockers. Um, don't necessarily want... There's some consensus. Some people say to restrict that. Some people say don't. Um, I'm not going to, because... I like oil. I like having oil for my things. And uh, besides that, um, that's the sum total of the mods that I'm doing here. I've blocked off these three these three uh, cam journal passages and bored out all of the main passages. Uh, I've also made sure that this one was at least the full quarter inch. Um, since it's right there, I don't think I need to worry too much about it. Um, and this is going to get, uh, all of these passages are going to get wire brushed out. Like I said, I'm going to champ for the inside edge of that as best I can. And then, uh, then it's time to start putting this back together. So 
Uh, it's going to get mocked up first um, because the interesting thing about this is going to be the twin turbo setup. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm kind of half doing it for the, you know, Uncle Tony's Garage, Richard Holdner meme. Uh, and also just because I think it's cool and I have a, uh, I have a look that's going to look really good. Twin turbo dual carburetor draw through V8. It's going to be fun. Oh yeah. And I am going to put some, uh, I am going to put ring gap in those pistons because you do that so that you don't break pistons. Uh, I'm not going for a lot of power. Uh, it's just going to be probably tops the 700 horsepower range. The turbos I'm using are kind of limited like that. Um, like I said, I have to make a decision if I'm going to run the stock cam, um, or if I'm going to get a new cam or what I've got roller rockers to go in it. Um, though I'm considering actually modifying these rockers. Um, I had an idea when I had my slant six in it, uh, sitting over there awaiting, awaiting what's coming next. Um, of actually, uh, changing the rocker ratio by moving where the, uh, push rod, um, contacts, moving it closer to the fulcrum. Um, I'll, I'll get into that. That's a separate video. I'll get into that later. And, uh, yeah, I showed you in that short a bit ago about the planning out loud, how that's going to work. Um, but right now this is the, uh, this is the basic prep, the kind of lame, um, de -dum. oh, right. And I am going to open up the oil, op the oil passages in the bearings. The bearings are in good, sh are in perfectly good shape. So I'm going to reuse them and I'm going to punch them out to match the holes that I, in the oil galley holes that I enlarged to make sure I still get all of my oil flow. Um, so yeah, that is a little bit more in depth about this motor. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to keep putting stuff out as I work on it. Um, and hopefully here, uh, y'all get to hear it run this season. That's my goal. So life permitting, we shall see. And thank y'all once again for watching. I appreciate it.